Hi guys, Rebecca Black here. Uh, a little bit of a Sunday afternoon makeup tutorial. Um, I've seen some feedback of people who have had problems with caking of their minerals. And I just wanted to, I had a little aha moment. I was like, maybe it's because they're not uh, waiting until their moisturizer has fully dried into their face. So after you've done your skincare in the mornings or in the afternoons, it's a midday for me, um, just today. Normally I wash first thing in the morning um, and at night. But one thing that will cause minerals to stick more than they should, no matter how much you um, do or do not saturate your brush, is if you have not allowed your moisturizer and serum to, to properly soak into your skin. So you really want to, I'm going to try to get as close so you can see that it's, the moisturizer is in, but there's no more like shininess of it. So everything has completely settled into the skin and this is the perfect time for you to apply your, your, um, your foundation. So again, my foundation color is vanilla latte and, um, I'm going to be using just a, like a medium handled flat brush. This brush um, is available for purchase for us too. And I just want to talk about this brush for a, for a little minute here. I love this brush because it's so soft and gentle and it's really good. It has like a nice medium density in there and it's super good for buffing minerals like you need them to be buffed in. So I've poured a little bit of my vanilla latte into, um, into my into my lid here, you can see there's some there. I'm actually gonna pour, dump some of that out just because I don't wanna, wanna oversaturate. So you just want a little bit, you know, you can see it kind of moving around in there. So you're gonna just pounce that brush. And again, the biggest thing, if you're having continuous problems with caking and you're really making sure that your brush is um, not too saturated and you're not getting any streaking, but you're just, still having a problem with caking, make sure that you allow your sunscreen, moisturizer, and or serum to accurately soak into, um, into your skin. Can we purchase the brush now? If so, where the back office? If it's not available for purchase today, it will be available for purchase tomorrow. So I absolutely love, 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 um, this this brush here and um, this is one of the we had our logo the ones that are that you will be able to purchase right now we do not have those in stock right now but we do have the ones that are just plain black handled in stock the quantities are limited right now guys so if these may be like the mommy and me palette and sell out just like that um, but we can uh, put those on back order and we do have um, another shipment of the logo ones coming in but I absolutely love this because it's kind of fat so even for people with arthritis who kind of have a problem holding on to onto brushes um, I broke these two fingers as a child so you can see they're super super <laughs> a little mangled um, and so I have a little bit of arthritis in those already so it's really easy for me to work with those. So like I say, again, if you're having problems with the caking of your foundation and you've tried everything else, your brush saturation is good, you're not oversaturating that brush, you're not having any streaking, make sure that you're letting all of your moisturizer, serum, and or sunscreen um, soak in. So I put, <laughs> yes, you can have my eyelashes, Ashley, and you are welcome, Anita. Um, you can have them. It'd be all yours. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some of your little um, vanilla latte is my color again, and I sprinkle a little bit in the lid. I've already sprinkled it in there. That was just for effect. So you just kind of like pounce it in to get your color saturated in there. You see, and you want to work in little circles, not too much pressure. You don't want your skin to. If you're if you're noticing you're starting to get give yourself crow's feet when you're putting on it, you're pushing too hard. Be very, very light with your with your application. So you don't want to, um, yes, we know that we're almost done with our storage, all of these emails. So buffing, 
buffing strokes all the way around. And you may feel like, oh my gosh, nothing is happening. And that's one of the biggest things when you're working with minerals for the first time, if you're brand new to them. You will feel that you're not getting any coverage, but if you look, you see, still see how much redness I have on this side of my face and then this side. Everything is starting to even out because I'm putting on such a small amount of minerals at, at a time. And if you use this technique and you still have problems caking, you really are just using too much minerals. Um, a little bit goes a long, long way. Less is more with this. Um, your foundation container is going to last you three to six months. <clears throat> is there a specific reason why your brush ends are flat versus other brushes? Mine are round, I guess um, you would describe them. Okay, Ashley, the reason, the only time I use a flat, a flat topped brush is for a foundation application. Everything else, I use a rounded, um, a rounded tip, but I like the flat because it allows you to go into your crevices and it allows you to have pressure all the way around. Whereas with a round brush and for foundation, in my personal experience, if you have amazing luck with your, with your round brush, stay with your round brush. But for me personally, when it comes to mineral foundation, I love a flat top brush because it does the best job buffing and blending the loose minerals into, into your your skin, not into your skin, onto your skin. So I just work all the way around. But you can see, even as I get closer, like look how look how nice and even this side is, and then I'm still red on this side. So I'm just gonna do the other side of my foundation. So hi Marissa, we're talking about people who have um, problems with caking but they've worked on their brush saturation, that is 100% fine. They're not getting any streaking or anything like that, but their loose minerals still tend to be cakey. And a lot of times it is because you do not allow whatever moisturizer, serum, or sunscreen you have on your skin to soak in before you put your minerals on. Um, if you don't allow that to soak in, it's like, think of water. If you put water on your minerals, they, they suck right there to that thing. Whereas if you put your minerals on a dry surface, they, they smooth, they, they, they smear all the way across. And that's what you really, really, really want to do. Because there's really only two reasons that minerals cake. And it's because there's too much moisture or you're using too much. So, this is just a little tiny, a little tiny trip. Okay, so that's what it is there. So I'm just starting to even out there. You can see little little round strokes. So you see, now even, even. I'm gonna do a little bit more right there around my eyes to even out my little, little tiny baby dark spots. Um, you are welcome, Miss Susan Mitchell. And hello, Miss Corolla. So I always like to, to pounce underneath my eyes and around my eye area because I'm petrified of putting too much pressure around, around my eye area. Even whenever I'm um, putting my serum and stuff around, I'm, I'm always using my ring finger because it's the lightest amount of, uh, of pressure. And you just want to, like after you lightly pounce that there, just be really, really gentle. Your eyes get subjected to a lot and we tend to spend more time doing our eye makeup than we do any other part and that's the most delicate skin and I don't know about you ladies but I don't want to put any excess pressure on those eyelids because they're gonna be wrinkly and saggy thanks to mother nature and the loss of collagen as you get older so the squalane serum is amazing 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 for um, helping plump that skin back up and make it all make it all moisturized. So as you can see, I'm gonna try to get as close here as I can. So you see, I still have a very sheer coverage, but my skin tone has been completely evened out. There's no there's no cakey spots. You can still see some of my natural freckles through there. 
but there's no cakiness. A lot of times you get cakiness here because you'll produce more oil here, you'll produce more oil there, and through your T-zone. You'll, if you're cakey there, there, and down there, a lot of that is just due to excess oil um, in your T-zone. So don't get too discouraged by that. You just wanna make sure you carry your compact with you. And um, some rice paper works really well just to absorb extra oil. And just give yourself a little touch up, you know, you go have your little lunch break or on your, just on break in general, rice paper to dab it up and then you can reapply if you want to. So I hope this helps with people who've had the continued problems with, um, with cakiness, but again, they've already worked on their brush saturation. Uh, they're not getting any streaking and they're still having problems. So the three components to non-caking loose mineral foundation are number one, your brush saturation. Don't oversaturate your brush. Um, you want it to always look nice and even there. And if you feel like you don't know if you have too much on your brush until you learn what saturation to use, use the back of your hand. It's much, much, much easier to control and learn your saturation on the back of your hand than it is your face because you just don't want to waste product and having to wash it. It's much easier just to run your hands under, under the sink. So your first component of non-caking with minerals is brush saturation. And again, I work with the flat brush. Um, the second component of that is something called streaking. So I want to show what your brush will look like if you're if you're gonna have some some streaking. So I'm just gonna kinda purposely, okay. So if you see your brush and you have a, a, a large collection of minerals like that, you're going to streak, okay? So that's what streaking looks like. If you're putting your foundation on your Nope 52, Girl, I thought you were in your 30s. I am in, I am in my mid 30s. Yes, I am in my mid 30s. So, but if you if you do your brush like this and you're getting those kind of lines on your face, that's what streaking is. So, you can go all the way around and just buff back and forth and you can see that line just disappears. So, it's all about the buffing. And hello Miss Sylvia, just buff 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 away. So after you've mastered your brush saturation, you're not putting too much on there. You're not getting any streaking there. If you still have problems with cakiness, it is because your skin has too much moisture on it. So please, 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 please make sure that you are allowing your serum and your moisturizer to soak in your skin. And so basically how you're gonna know that is your skin has begun to have the matte finish of it. It's, it doesn't look shiny and it doesn't feel um, it doesn't feel like you just put your put your lotion on they are talking about Corolla's age Corolla you are 52 girlfriend you look amazing I pray that I look half as good as you do when I am 52 but I know when I'm using my skincare and these amazing minerals that I'm going to because I'm not putting any crap on my face hello Miss Tanya Kesey uh, I love you too, Sylvia. Heart, heart, heart. Yes. So if you like what you saw today and you learned something, give me a heart or a wow or a thumbs up. I don't believe it either, Sylvia. Corolla, you look so good. Corolla, I thought you were in your 30s as well. So that is my, oh, look at all those hearts. Keep them coming, ladies. Wow. We all with our KMSO. I know, I know, I know, I know. And so um, I don't have my tinted lip balm right here. Otherwise, I would go and put that on real quick. Um, actually, I think it's in the closet. Let me look real quick and I'll be right back. Look, I have it in my... In my purse okay so I have the unlabeled ones you guys will get the labeled ones so this is pink rosé okay so let me just roll this up so you can see hello miss Danny Hines 
And then this is Cabernet. So you can see how rich and amazing. So you guys can see what these are going to look like on your skin. I will put the Cabernet on the bottom and then I will put um, the pink rosé on my top. <gasps> Sylvia, I did not see our first KMS bride picture. Oh my gosh. Okay, is it on, is it on this page or is it on someone else's page? So again, I'm going to do Cabernet on the bottom. Look how dark and rich that looks, and it looks a little scary at first. So if you didn't see my first one about this, you're just going to complete. Like that. You see how sheer that is? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's this. it is so moisturizing, and it even has a nice little mint flavor to it. And then Hink Rosé. for your top. So you can see the difference in colors. The, the pink rosé is definitely more sheer and then the cabernet is definitely darker. So here's here's the cabernet and here's pink rosé. See pink rosé has just a beautiful beautiful it looks super intense in this too but it is not. It is not, it is not. So because I'm all about cocktail and my cosmetics even whenever I put the Cabernet on my lips, I will put a little bit of pink rosé over it. Just to make it, I mean, like, look how beautiful that color is. That's like, let's make sure we get an accurate. That's like, kisses for all of you guys. Mm. It's like the most beautiful, um, brown mauve color. It's so amazing. So this is my makeup look for today. I am, uh, I am all done. So I hope you guys, Danny Hines, I do not have my skin care yet. I do not have my skin care yet. So I get my skin care tomorrow and I cannot wait. And listen, guys, I cannot wait for you guys to join us for our grand opening tomorrow. It is going to be so much fun. We are going to do a live feed and you'll kind of get to see us in action. And hopefully our grand opening will inspire and help you to give you some ideas for your grand opening. Because guys, I cannot wait to see what you guys have planned for your grand openings. Hey girl, hey Miss Lisa. Okay, so our grand opening is going to be tomorrow night from five to seven Eastern Standard Time. And we are going to be doing um, a live feed from our brand new distribution center. Listen, Danny, our shipping guy, we already we started calling him last week and just to prepare him. Yeah, he's um he's got two trucks lined up for us. So, we are going to be <laughs> pulling all nighters getting getting all of our shipping. I know. I'm so excited about launch tomorrow, Lisa. I was just telling everybody that I'm so excited for us to be able to show everybody and to launch with everyone and I hope 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 that our grand opening and how we are going to do it and show you guys what we're going to do inspires you guys and gives you some ideas because we really, really, really want to be there to, um, to support you guys and, and really build you up. I mean, I want you guys to see how, how we're doing it. And I know that you guys are going to knock it out of the water. So I hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. Miss Anita, there's a couple of more flights. I don't care where you live. If you're on the West Coast, it's even better because you're three hours behind. Maybe four if you're in Alaska, like one or two of our um, of our advocates. Yes, we have people in Alaska as well. So here's my beautiful, flawless face. Thank you. Keep me safe, organics, and my vanilla latte. I hope your vanilla latte was as good to you today as mine was. So I hope you, Anita, Maryland. Okay, perfect. There's... And you have until 5 p.m. tomorrow to get here. So I hope to see you there. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And I look forward to seeing all of your hearts and your thumbs up and your wow faces tomorrow during our live feed. So tomorrow is launch day, guys. Have a wonderful Sunday.